Hey there YouTube, it's Matt Buller with my first of two videos from the Baseball Card Castle New Year's Eve celebration. So yeah, it's been a little, quite a while since that happened, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the videos of what I picked up. So this is my first of two videos. This is my baseball themed one. So we're talking all the baseball stuff. My second video will have all my football and hockey related purchases. So I hope you enjoy it. This will be my baseball themed items that I purchased from the Baseball Card Castle Celebration. So I got four trading cards and they were 50% off. This particular showcase are all 50% off. So I picked up some more, more Cole Tucker cards. Ones I thought I did not have in my collection because he's pretty good about signing autographs. We got this one here from Optic and this one here from Bowman Chrome. So, you know, this is one of those minor like those pre-rookies or whatever you want to call it. So they actually ended up just tossing this in. So that was really cool. And then I bought these two cards. So they're both Cole Tucker cards here. So this one's the Bowman Sterling. I'm, I mean, top star. It is yeah, same thing. And anyway, um, and then we have this one, which I don't have the numbered one. So this one's numbered seven to thirty-five. So yeah, so I got both of these for fifteen dollars total. So I thought that was a pretty fair deal. So very good. Picked up some autographed Cole Tucker cards. And let's get these out of the way too. Why not? I got four for ten <laughs> of the uh, traditional top loaders. So on to this big stack of photos. Yeah. So the nice thing, my favorite thing, really isn't necessarily the the fifty percent off showcase or the twenty percent off showcases, but it's the five and ten dollar bins. Really that's what I enjoy the most are those five and ten dollar bins. So yeah, that's where all these came from. There are fifteen photos here. Fourteen of them them are autographed. This one is not autographed. In fact, um the plan is to get some autographs on here. I'm gonna to try to get Richie Hebner and Al Oliver and Steve Blass. I cannot get Bruce Keeson or Willie Stargell, obviously, but that plan is to get the autograph by the three people. So that was a $5 pickup. In fact, most of these are all from the $5 bin, including one of those little team postcard things of Frank Coonley. I know I do not have this one, so I picked that one up. But I like this one a lot better. Nice looking Elroy Face. Elroy Face had an amazing baseball career with the Pirates. So nice little $5 autograph there of Elroy Face. And a $5 autograph of Al Martin, this 8x10 photo. So, And I did pick up two Jeff Locke autograph photos. I have been a fan of Jeff Locke for a number of reasons, somewhat in a little bit of a silly way. He has a crappy autograph, though. That's the Jeff Locke autograph. <laughs> Jeff. Ugh. Jeff Le. <laughs> it's pretty much how it looks. So two nice poses of them. So these were $5 photos, as was the Evan Meek. Evan Meek threw my pitch, the first ever foul ball that I had got at a baseball game. And then the Trevor Williams, he had a signing at Baseball Card Castle, and there's a big stack of 8x10 photos, and they were in the 50% off case. So I mean, I like Trevor Williams, so I went ahead and just loaded up. And the reason why I really like Trevor Williams is because uh, during his debut game, which ended up being very memorable, I ended up getting a foul ball that he pitched, which was the first ever foul ball that he had pitched. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. And I gave it to a kid beside me because that's kind of like what you just have to do at times. And I regret it, but that's okay. I then ended up getting Trevor Williams' first ever out that he had recorded MLB authenticated and everything and I got him to sign that so it was pretty cool in, in the long scheme of things but I picked up six different photographs they were 50% off so they were $25 each so actually I ended up buying $150 worth of autographed photos of Trevor Williams paid 75 but I was really happy to get these that's for sure so there's the first one with the uh, Sunday uniform there And forgive me for not remembering, because I have asked him, you know, what that symbol was. I want to say it was like a Tai Pao or something like that. It's a religious symbol of some kind. I know some people think it's his Project 34 thing, but that's not what he told me. But that's still pretty cool. There's a nice horizontal picture of him pitching. And after this, the other two are from that game that I mentioned, where he ended up, his debut game, he ended up getting the win and had emotional moment with his dad after the game 
even made a little commercial out of it too, which I don't know if that's the right thing to do is to but anyway, so yeah, there's him presenting him with the game ball. And there he is with the big old hug after that. So that was a really cool moment. All right, and I got two more autographed photos to show you. They're from the $10 bin. Local guy from Newcastle, Chuck Tanner. I mean, I don't have this pose. It's not like an official photo. Like, the one, most of the ones I showed you, or a good chunk of them, were from Photofile, you know. Um, this is not a super high glossy photo, but it's a Chuck Tanner autograph for $10, so that's pretty cool. There's one of them, and then there's a second one in the White Sox uniform. So those are my baseball-themed purchases from the Baseball Card Castle New Year's Eve celebration. My next video from that sale will show all of the football and hockey pickups, which were quite a few there. So very good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know what you liked the most. And uh, yeah, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Once a week, I'll post something. Every weekend. Take care, everybody.